here today with Mike Lyle from the South Carolina Gun School. We're doing some testing on the AR-500 plates. Initially, we had just the steel plates that were enamel coated, and there were some questions about fragmentation. So AR-500 got together and, uh, with Line X and started putting a coating on these plates. Now here are the three different plates that we're going to be testing. And this is the initial plate with no coating. It just had a really baked on enamel finish. But there was a lot of questions when we did the first review that this may not stop fragmentation. When a bullet impacts and then you have fragmentation that comes out. Uh, and of course those were addressed by AR500 because of those comments. And so they went from this standard plate and then they got together with Line X coating and then they're doing a coating on the plate itself. And as you can see, and what this is supposed to do is to capture the, the fragmentation once there's an impact. Now this is the difference with their standard plate that they were originally offering, which they're no longer offering this plate by the way, uh, to the Line X new improved AR500 plate. There's already a definite thickness, same steel, same thickness, but then with the coating. And then they have the extra coated. Here you can see that there's even more thickness applied to this plate. First we've got the AK-47. That's the 7.62 by 3.9. We're going to take this set me in 308. And here's your 308 round. Of course the AR-15. And we're using the Steel Core SS-109. And then the Mosin Nagant, because it is so popular here in the States, uh, this is 7.62 by 5.4 very comparable to the 30-06. Okay, here we have the non-Line X plate, just the metal. And we've got it kind of taped at an angle, so ricochets. We've got it in a box to be able to check the fragmentation. First, we're going to shoot the 5.56 out of the AR-15 with the SS-109 steel core. Okay, it definitely knocked the plate. Um, let's get a look in here. Here, small divot, very light. Actually, down here. And then, of course, here is where the bullet we assumed would gum anyway. Low uh, fragmentation. Not really any fragmentation. Very little. There was a tiny bit of fragmentation going upward. This is one of the rounds that we found in the box itself. But not really a lot going on. It did tear the box back from the back where the plate was coming back, but otherwise, not bad. Now we'll shot with the 5.6. We're going to shoot with the uh, 7.62. See what this does. Okay, it knocked the plate sideways, but I want you to look at what that did on the side of the box. Yeah. I believe the impact actually was right here. Yeah. On that one? Yours was just like dead on right here, and then it just ran up the side of the box. Now that is a lot of fragmentation there. Yeah. Definitely a beefy around. Okay, and also, look at this. Oh, wow. This is on top of the box. With the 5.56 SS-109, not too bad, but the AK 7.62 by 3.9, we definitely would have some issues if that was going into your jaw. Or carotid artery. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna use the set me, we're gonna be shooting it with a 308 round. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow Kaboom! Box from right here. Turn the box around. Okay, right here. Very small little temple. The blast on 308 went on the other side of the box. There's definitely fragmentation. There's the top of the box. Uh, blew the tape here. Let's turn this down here. Yeah, look, this is the 308 right here. Here was the AK. The 308 definitely uh, is going to. A lot more fragmentation with the 308. Yeah, even the tape. This would definitely not be a good day. Yeah, sad right there. Yeah, I think it actually stayed on the same path as the AK, don't you yep, think, Mike? It did. It got bigger. You can see it. 
it definitely got bigger. That was not there. Okay, this is what it did to the stand coming down. Now the final round is the Mosin Nagant in 7.62 by 5.4 rimmed. All right, big Mosin, ba boom. No penetration, very little of the surface. But the fragmentation, look at that, it took the box yeah, far. Went ahead and continued that fragmentation of the 308. Didn't really do anything to the top though. I think it all kind of centered around this one side. The back of the plate, there are some dimples. Very light. Right here. Here. I think that's the 308 round there. Yep. Now we're going to be shooting the Linex coated plate with the AR-15 556 in SS-109. All right, we dropped the plate down after three shots. Only a little fragmentation on this side. And it pretty much took out the material. Um, Very little fragmentation. No fragmentation anywhere else. And to be honest with you, I shot this three times, pretty much in the same area. Anything that shot down went into the box bottom. There's nothing around anywhere else. Okay, Mike's going to be shooting the AK and the 7.62 by 39. Oh, Move the box. Um, knock the plate down. Okay, right there. Did remove the line X here. Top of the box. No fragmentation whatsoever on the top. Here we have some fragmentation here, some below this side, and a little bit here on this one side. All of it was pushed out though. None of it was in line with the plate, even on this side. Everything is pushed forward. You can see the first rounds on each one of these two where they actually hit. I mean, if you look at right here, there's the SS-109, and there's the AK got a little bit more of a wear around it this one after the second hit started to actually take the plate yeah because that was actually three so this yeah. one yeah right there there and there we're gonna go with the 308 into the plate with the line X knock the plate sideways That's knock the plate. box back um, Right here. The, AK, the 308's right below it. Yeah, right there's the 308. More fragments again. Well, and one thing too to consider is that these plates are at an angle so the ricochet doesn't come back toward us. Uh, so you're gonna get fragmentation right here. It's gonna push it forward anyway. So this really is, to me, a good sign. And I don't really consider this to be too much more fragmentation than what we already had on here. Nope. I think we got a little bit out this way more. And that's probably because it was on this side. I think we're shooting at a little bit of angle too. Yeah, we're shooting at an angle. The fragmentations all on these Line X plates are going outward. And that's a good thing. Now we're going with the Mosin Nagant 7.62 by 5.4. Well, <laughs> incredibly powerful cartridge. Just blew that box. Looks like here's the round, Mike. Yep. That was good. Was that way we can compare the 308 and <laughs> the Gantt. Yeah. AK at the top, Mosin 308, 5.56. Five, These are some heavy rounds right here. Oh, there's a dimple on the back on that one. You can feel it. Yeah, there's a slight dimple with the uh, 7.62 by 5.4 but not any of the others, really. Well, there's a little bit right, right there, there 308, yep. didn't it? Yep. Considerably more fragmentation on the sides and some more. All of it, though, pretty much going straight out. Uh, there is a little bit here on the top, just a couple of small pieces. Again, the plate is back here, so you've got it going forward. About a foot in front of your face. Uh, it is somewhat of an angle, though. Yeah. Uh, you can see the splatter was contained under the line X. So I think we're going to find that, in fact, in all of these, 
the Line X actually did capture some of the splatter underneath. Here you can see some with the 5.56. Now a couple of thoughts that I had after the testing. Uh, one of the things, the plates, the way they were set, they, were, they had to be set at an angle to keep ricochets down. Mitigation of the fragmentations are going to go outward, downward. That is definitely one of the possibilities and one of the things about the test. But even with the steel, most of the fragmentations went in an outward direction, away from the body. So if you were wearing a, a chest rig like this, even with the steel plates, you're going to get a lot of fragmentations coming away. With the Line X, we definitely saw an increase in protection, especially going upward. And even though this was at an angle, there was very little splatter that was in the upward direction. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get to do the build-up plate itself, but that will be coming. But according to AR500 Armor, they've done extensive testing with 308, and the build-up will contain 308 rounds. One thing I would recommend is getting the curved plates. They're not that much more expensive, and they are a lot more comfortable to wear. One consideration, too, is to make sure you have good ballistic eyewear. And these are bobsters. Uh, I'm getting ready to do some more testing. We've done some earlier, but we're going to do a little more extensive testing with some of their eyewear. That is extremely important, especially if you're concerned about fragmentation. Of course, a couple of other things to consider are field conditions. You know, you never know what angle that something could come in at. Also, with the plate carrier itself, it pushes the plates forward. Here, I just have on a simple t-shirt, but if I had on a, a shirt, a heavy shirt or anything, that would push this even more forward, that gives me even added protection. Plus, anytime you put any gear here on the front, that's going to give you more protection. Once the round penetrates through the nylon, through the molly attachments, and then hits the line X with the steel plate, you're going to have less mitigation here as well. So there's a lot of different factors to consider when looking at these plates. Now, the standard plates with the Line-X coat coating is still $65, which is phenomenal. When you add the build-up to the plates, that's an extra $25. The curved plates are $85, and then you have your $25 build-up as well. Uh, to me, this, this is the most reasonable protection on the market, especially for the quality you're getting. And yeah, they're not ceramic plates, but they're also not $350 per plate. So I think it's a great option for all of us guys that are on a budget. You may not be a professional, or even if you are a professional. This is a great way to go to be able to give yourself some protection in a self-defense situation. Also, law enforcement, military, or sheepdog applications. Guys, you have the right to defend your life and to defend yourself. And having this will give you a lot of protection at a really affordable price. Plus, the guys at AR500 Armor, and I'm telling you, I've got a lot of my personal friends that have ordered and have been nothing but just very pleased with the customer service, and I'm getting a lot of PMs from you guys saying the same thing, that the guys at AR500 are just top-notch, and they are. So get in touch with AR500 Armor, let them know that Suit sent you, and you will be very pleased with this system. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Ha ha ha! Oh, we got you. Kaboom! Here's a box from right here.